Okay. George Hammerbacher back in the booth. We're we're going to have another another uh, first round live stream match here between uh, Dr. Dave Hunt of the Hasselman and Hunt Family Dentistry in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, a very very fine player, also known as the Killer Driller. Uh, Dave is. Uh, You'll see a contrasting of styles in this match. Dave picked up the game as an adult, and uh, he has high skill levels, just like this gentleman here, Scott Haas. But Scott picked it up when he was a kid, and his movements are so smooth, whereas Dr. Dave is a lot more herky-jerky in the way that he uh, carries carries on. With, I, I'm just glad that Dr. Dave doesn't do that when he's doing a root canal, the way he looks playing pool. Not knocking him, but he has a very, just almost a herky-jerky uh, approach. He hits the balls great. Don't get any of that twisted, folks. He has every reason... Uh, to be a contender in an event like this. And uh, he's a fine young, uh, young, I guess he's young compared to me. I got him by at least a generation. But he's a good, good player. I believe he beat a Alex Pagulian once in the US Open, if I'm not mistaken. It might be, but Dave is gonna play safe here. It, Ooh, he actually left it right there for Thomas. It looks like uh, Thomas, that's about all he can do is hit the edge of that six ball. Thomas, I got him still mixed up. Thomas just got finished playing. This is his daddy, Scott, from central Pennsylvania. A couple of fine people. Dr. Dave is a gentleman, too. This is, I've seen very, very few little bad behavior on this action tour. This is my eighth year on the mic. In fact, this ball is a, <laughs> a lockdown safety. Dave might be able to get past the, the six to the side rail and be able to clip the two. That's what he's looking at, see if he can play enough left English to, to skim the deuce and go up table. We're playing at the Champion Billiard Room in Frederick, Maryland. Actually, it's down Bucky's Town Pike. It's officially about four or five miles south of uh, Frederick a little ways. Now, Dave uh, comes up empty. Scott has ball, uh, has ball in hand. And uh, I'm George Hammerbacher, uh, voice of the action pool tour. Uh, and I'm an advanced level instructor of pool from the Professional Billiard Instructor Association out of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, conduct uh, private lessons in my home or I'll come to you, whatever you like. I have a full facility in my house in Catonsville, Maryland, about 45 minutes from where we sit right now. And uh, real convenient too to the, the greater Baltimore, Washington, D.C. corridor and the Western Maryland out this way. And uh, teaching pool since 1975. Chris, you and Bill are two and a half. Two for a twin. Right now. Yeah, Wow. That's hard to imagine he went past that six. He was going to... 
gives that ball in hand back to Dr. Dave. I do hands-on instruction with drills, exercises, a format. He's got to watch and make sure the cue ball doesn't touch that six or it's a foul. It's one foul ball in hand. This is alternate break on a rack your own format. And uh, nine ball, no balls need to be called. He's going to probably play, play this in off the rail. Hit this with some pace if he's going to play it. He's in a little tight there, I think. It's <laughs> I'm in from Lynchburg, Scott Roberts. Uh, he never even touched that eight ball. But it looks like it's a pretty good billiard. This Dr. Dave is one of the better strokes I've seen on the working man. A guy that picked up this game as an adult. You see his, his movements are a whole lot more herky-jerky than people that picked up the game as kids. I don't know. I don't even know why that is necessarily. Oh, uh, that ball went clear. I couldn't see from my vantage point. This is an interesting shot where that nine is. He's got to come with some left-hand ball. That's very nicely played. Nine looks like it's frozen or near frozen. Dr. Dave takes a one to nothing lead in this match over Scott Haas. This is alternate break format. The Action Pool Tour is a, a regional um, pro semi-pro tour that uh, plays in the Maryland and Virginia area. It features five different levels of play. Um, all the matches are all even up with no handicap at this time. The only thing that is different with the is the uh, that the entry fees are um, staggered according to the levels of players. For instance, professionals like Sean Wilkie, who we have in the field, and uh, Matt Craw, and there's a Russian lady champion that's here this week too. Uh, they're all going to pay the top entry fee of a hundred dollars, where League players or people trying to get their feet wet will pay $40. And uh, needless to say, those levels are open for negotiation and adjustment as uh, the players' uh, results and overall performance levels will indicate. But we're having a, we have a nice, nice field over here this week. And uh, very, very nice. Dr. Dave crushes the break. He, the nine does not count on the break as, as it does uh, in any standard game of nine ball you'd see. That's one of our differences. It respots and the player at broke has his or her opportunity to keep shooting or to take a re-rack. That was a little, a little bit of a flail, I would say. 
But this is a fine venue we have here at uh, Champion Billiards in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, the tour, we've been coming here for several seasons now, usually in the summertime like this, and it's always, uh, always a pleasure. They have good food and just uh, a nice place to come. Nice atmosphere. Okay, this Dave's actually entertaining this one six nine, the goose strikes one. The monkey chews tobacco on the streetcar line. The nine broke and the monkey got choked. And he tried to get ahead two to nothing on his little rowboat. Just a mindless palaver of a of a burnout. Let's see what he does here. He might play the carom off the off the nine. Yeah, he up. Oh, that that cue ball was sunburned and it sought the shade. But it didn't have it made in the shade. Scott has a nice opportunity here to even this match at a game of peace. They'll probably play high left and go between the four and nine. We're going to go to the outside through his hand. You got a little straight on this ball. This is, uh, Scotty looks handcuffed and that nine ball even makes it even a, a more, a more testing shot because he's going to have to put stroke on the ball from straight in and on the rail jacked up. It's, that's as good as he could have hit this ball. Now the six ball though is going to be his next ob object here that he's going to have to deal with. He might draw it across. Oh, look at this shot. That's nice. Boy, this is a tough rack. The way the seven is sitting, it's in the, in the punch lane. The two rails, he's... He might get there. Didn't hit it. Well, it might be a little short. I don't know if Dave is going to jump this ball. Uh, he might have to jump it. Always tricky with a ball close to the pocket, close to the rail like this. Rail first at it. From 
There ain't any doubt about this one, I don't think. I think he's... He might have a shot. It's hard to say. opportunity for Scott to even the match up at a game of peace. They kind of bank that one in, but he's He's right on line here to even the score up at a game of peace. Scott Haas wins game number two and evens the count at a game of peace. Other sponsors of the Action Pool Tour include Predator Cues and Products, uh, Jog China in the industry. They sponsor. Lots and lots of pros and uh, and pro events and amateur events. They're huge in our sport. They're titanic in the sport, as a matter of fact. We thank Predator so much for their support. We also have uh, other giants in, in our industry, include Simonis Cloth, Aramith uh, Balls, and diamond tables and diamond equipment. Just all the choice of players worldwide. Additionally, a good break shot from Scott. Nine ball rolls up to the pocket, doesn't fall, it wouldn't have counted. Scott's going to probably push out by knocking the nine in. If he, that would be the play I would do. Spot the nine up and ask uh, Dr. Dave whether he wants to shoot again. That's the only shot and shot he's got, I believe. Only shot in town there. Dave might give it back to him. He has a good chance of scratching off the, if he comes behind the two and tries to kick at it. He could scratch to the to the uh, lower right corner pocket on the screen. Might give it back. Yep, I thought he might. Nice move from Scott. Beautiful shot. Very, very nicely played. Here, Chris can thin the deuce, I think, but he might also have a kiss in his future. We might try to come behind the two rails and hit it flush. Go between the six and nine. Yep, yeah, might have watched a kiss. Yeah. Oh, he gives up a pretty nice scoring opportunity to Scott Haas. He has a, 
a pretty good 2-9 combination that uh, is the only shot in town with absolute certainty. It's Like I said, it was a real, real good, good looking combination leave. So Scott takes the two to one lead over Dave Hunt. Uh, we uh, also have Q Sports International out of Las Vegas. Um, there, uh, Ozzy Reynolds was the original owner of this very action pool tour we're playing on until. October 2018 when he uh, sold to a tour to uh, Chris Wiley and Tiger Baker who have been running the tour admirably ever since and um, they're, they're the owners of the BCA pool leagues in uh, North America and they, they also uh, are the uh, have the American Billiard Clubs that's the home of American Rotation a great sport that I've announced the finals uh, in Las Vegas uh, for, for CSI. They hold many, many, many uh, tournaments, including the BCA National, uh, with 10,000 players sometimes descending on the Rio like a pack of locusts in Vegas in late July and early August. Just concluded a couple of weeks ago. Pros are there, amateurs. They hold big time uh, national and regional uh, pool events. And uh, Ozzy Reynolds is uh, a friend of mine and he's the owner of that company. And all I can say is, is about eight years ago, uh, I came around and ran in Ozzy and uh, He's been a friend of mine ever Thank since. You, Scott Roberts, table number eight. Joe Roberts, table eight. They're the North American distributors of Magic Rack. A great product, a template, a racking template for eight, nine, and ten ball and, and full pack games that uh, will eliminate the, uh, the pits. And the and the, uh, the the scars in the break area where the balls jump out of those holes, they make pits or divots out of the cloth. And uh, we also they hold the U.S. Open uh, eight, nine, and ten ball on bar tables in in either Reno or Vegas. And I believe one pocket too. I'm not not 100% on that one, but they're they're gigantic in the in this pool industry. Also, giants are include Kamui. They they have Kamui tips, Kamui chalk, highly sought after. Once I was offered $50 for one cube of Kamui chalk in any condition at a U.S. Open. Unfortunately, I couldn't provide one, but that shows you how the players revere that particular uh, product. And their tips, uh, known worldwide, have a great number of different thicknesses and playability to suit any players from super soft to the hard it all depends on what you want we also have tiger products uh, they make tips as well as uh, cues and they're uh, also uh, big in the game We also have Viking Cues out of Madison, Wisconsin. 
American made for over 50 years and fine product. I played many, many players from Wisconsin. I lived there for several years and they all swore by their Viking cues. We also have ozonebilliards.com. Anything and everything for your billiard or game room, free shipping, give them a call. Oh, has a speed trooper. Let's go with McCartney and Abernathy on seven. This looks like three, and Abernathy, seven. three rails around. You had to go a little lower. Big opportunity here for Dave Hunt, maybe. Scott takes a three to one lead over Dave Hunt here in this race to eight. This is a first round match for these two, two gentlemen. We drew over 40 players here this, this weekend at the Champion Billiard Room in uh, Frederick, Maryland. Um, and everybody's Got lots of good players. We got a couple, a couple stalwarts from out of Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, the, the savage Mr. Scott Roberts and his, his good buddy there. Also from, from uh, I just, I just lost my train of thought. I had a senior moment. That's all right. I'll remember on Tuesday what I was going to say. Scott broke the balls well. And his his good his good friend and road dog Brian Bryant is uh, also here, who got runner up down in uh, um, in April at our event at the Bob Stocks Memorial. Lost to the fine Eastern Shore Maryland player Kevin West. I see lots of people playing and having a good time out here. And that's that's what it's all about. That was a real nice shot from uh, Scott. He fell beautifully with his four in the side pocket. Brushed across the five to create a hanger in the side. And, He's in real, real good position here to to get a nice to get a nice cushion going here in a tough match for starters for both guys. This is hard would be a hard match for me to pick. Now Scott's going to probably catch a piece of the seven and end up playing for the seven in the side or the seven in the lower left-hand corner on the screen. He's going to just get a piece of the seven. No, he 
he, he just he just slid it in and take the shot in the side. Not the most routine shot. Scott says he's been struggling with his vision. That's a nicely played ball. This looks like a punch. Two rails, uh, center diamond, center diamond, fall back where, is, where that chalk is somewhere off the second cushion coming across. Very well struck. Scott Haas is on top, Dave Hunt by a score of four games to one here. And uh, real, real nice crowd here today. Uh, very, very happy with uh, having 40 some players in this field. Hmm? 41. Um, uh, old buddy of mine, um, Alvin Thomas, uh, sitting to my right, you know, uh, real, real good player. Uh, when the, he shows up in Richmond sometimes, he'll show up most any place at any time. He'll show up at Virginia Beach. What tour? Oh, he's getting ready, getting ready for a big event in um, in in uh, upstate New York at Turning Stone, uh, the uh, uh, the Northeast uh, tour. Uh, no can do. Not here. No mention. No pay. But, uh, yeah, they, they have a, uh, a nice, uh, it's, it's like a, uh, like a three or four star pro event that they play a couple times a year, I believe they have, and lots of champions will be there, lots of true degenerates, lots of, lots of, uh, oh, oh. He's parked his Pelota in the lower corner. Anybody's welcome to grab the grab the microphone with me. Uh, Alvin is a very very good player and a very very knowledgeable player. He's uh, a guy that plays. Uh, let's just let's just say the grass doesn't grow under his feet while he's playing. He's uh, generally been a, a very very quick, flowing type player. I've known him for. 15, 20 years, probably, and uh, he's uh, he shows up and plays in events about anywhere. He loves the game, and this is what it's all about. It's got to hurry. Didn't get there. He has the look of love on his face. That look that Count Dracula gives you, you know, when he feels that pine going into the aortic chamber. He's gonna have to twist it, he can't fist it. Little little left hand masse ball or or a bank in a safety up table. That seemed to be the more prudent play of the two. Good move. He, he looks like he's hooked Dave uh, behind the seven. 
maybe he has. It's, again, hard for us to pick up even with lots of experience. We're 15 feet away from him or less and still can't see what he sees. But we'll do the best we can anyway. Looks like Dave is going to check the wind currents over the seven ball. Going to see if there's any crosswinds blowing. I sort of like the coming off the top rail myself because this is 70-30 sellout. He's 20% to lose the cue ball off the table. Because it's going to hop and skip. Um, it was, there, there's the 70-30. There was a sellout, though. High right ball, just natural, come right over the spot. Maybe even, not even high right, just straight high ball. Don't even need to spin this any. How's the speed, Trooper? Pretty good, but it's a little straight. Have to draw it all the way back. Pass the nine to get the seven in the side. I like the uh, the low low left ball. Perfect. Couldn't have hit it better. Just just roll. We'll just stick the rock right in there anywhere close. Okay. It looks like he's a little bit straight on this ball. Yep. Gonna have to play the outside half on the punch or draw it. Two rails. Or roll underneath it. Yeah, that's as good as he could have hit the uh, punch. Now I cut the room right. Nothing but net. Haas takes a five games to one lead in this in this contest with Dave Hunt. Also, like I said, Hasselman and Hunt family dentistry. Uh, we have Grant Wiley uh, photography. We also we also have uh, East Coast Landscaping. Larry Flager uh, down in the Tidewater area. We have uh, our next event is coming up a month from now in. In, uh, on the 14th and 15th of September at um, Breaker Sky Lounge in Herndon, Virginia. That's uh, Shauna Lewis uh, has gold crowns and it's a nice, nice venue. Uh, oh. Scott's lost his toy. Kicked in the side and Dave is
Dave is looking for any kind of shortcut. He's in a deficit. It's hard when you get down five to one in this alternate break format. Very difficult to come back. A lot of these guys are capable of running several racks in a row if they get going off their break. A lot of, that's why they're here because they can play. You know, and uh, this alternate break gives uh, even slightly lesser players uh, that opportunity at the table every time that they can't say they didn't get the chance. Whether they broke or ran out was the big question. And then you, you league players that are getting bored with getting three, four, five shots a rack come out here and check the strength of these individuals and uh, improve your game in the process. The Action Tour features, uh-oh. The Action Pool Tour features five different grades of players ranging from professional, semi-professional, Advanced, in other words, these are these are uh, uh, very very good run out players that just play part time. They don't play a lot, but they're still plenty tough and plenty dangerous. Oh. Dave is leaking oil in this match. Uh, we also have uh, your regular league player. Um, intermediate types and then we have novices or beginners or also regular lady players that aren't professionals also figure in the, and the uh, entry fees are staggered according to uh, what level of play it is and that, that you're at let's see Let's see if Scott can can follow this ball and and land. Uh, now he might be. I don't know what he's playing for here. Must be a good a good cam. Might have to call somebody to scope the hit. It's tight. I guess it wasn't. Scott Haas takes a six to one lead. Uh, Scott had, I played him when he was a young man up in the central Pennsylvania area in the early, uh, uh, mid 90s. And he was like 18, 19 years old. He was a little bit older, maybe 20, than his son is now playing. And I played him at uh, Diamond Billiards up in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And uh, in the semifinals of the tournament up there, uh, he it was a race to nine, and he got up to me uh, seven to two, and uh, I hit him with this, with seven in a row, and then I don't see him for 30 years. I hope I didn't chase him away that long, but I saw him up here at this very room, and uh, he still remembered me when he heard my voice, and. Uh, he had a hand, I believe, that was touched by God in terms of talent. When he hit the ball, it did things that other people hit it, it doesn't do. Can't explain it other than like hitting 400 foot home runs in the 20 mile an hour winds with consistency. And that was his ability. But he, uh, he, he went on with life, and he's a weekend warrior now. Has a, has a teenage son that's playing in this event and played the first match, as a matter of fact. And... Uh, Here's Dr. Dave. He has to write the ship here. It's on 
Let's see what what he comes up with. Is it a, a high left ball or is he gonna just come back a little and accept the bank? I left all the way. He's, he still bought himself straight in on the four. He's just struggling this time. The balls aren't laying good. And he's he's grinding. But he has one of the better strokes I've seen on a working man. Runs into the eight, and he's going to have to sing for his supper. Herky jerky, herky jerky. He's real herky jerky. Not not smooth. He, he's effective, but you know maybe not in this match. But he's plenty dangerous. This match was a toss up on paper. Got a lot of unknown players in here that I've never seen, and that's always good to see new new players. Whoa. A hand grab that ball. When your eyes aren't are, are struggling, these shots are hard. He can't see it. He couldn't see it. That was his problem. He, he stood up from the ball. He was obviously blind on it. Couldn't couldn't find the angle. That's a big game. Uh, I had to put him on the hill, and Dave on a on a trip to the Western Time Zone. Instead, it's a chance.
Dave Hunt. Wins game number eight and trails six games to two over Mr. Scott Haas. Big break shot here of this. Scott's cue ball is jumping all over the place on his break shot. He, his cue ball traveled about 20 feet. Dr. Dave has a, has a nice opportunity up here. They might have to go over a little piece of the four ball. He can make his ball easy. I, I got him at 75-25 to make it. A good hit, and he fell nice on this, too. Might be close to straight to rolling the ball to the same pocket with the four ball. Might be playing the four in the same pocket as the deuce if he doesn't play it in the side. Very nice. Maybe a touch too far, but he still should be okay with uh, come across to face this ball with a little right hand top around one o'clock or go forward two cushions. Oh, has a speed trooper. That's the difference between these guys and the pros a lot, is their speed control is not quite what the what those guys that are on the pro billiard tours all do with consistency. <laughs> That's a situation where he was supposed to have been out and he's he's sitting down and that's not, doesn't bode well for you when you're losing six to two. You got to get out and put your opponent in the cooler a little bit. Get him thinking. Whether he can beat the kiss is the big question if he's going to try to bank this ball. Might even have the six as the carom. Oh, did he hit that ball good? That was a classic shot there. He shortened it up and uh, drilled that ball. Straight across. <clears throat> a 
fall to straight in on the eight and then shoot and stop for the nine. It's a can of corn. Can of corn. All he's got to do is just pocket the ball, come off the cushion one turn. As good as it gets. Scott Haas from Central PA is uh, has mounted the precipice. He is on the hill. Scott is ahead. Dr. Dave um, breaks the ball super. One goes in, two is hanging in the hole. That speed air did cost him. Put put Scott on the hill and uh, instead of six to three, which is six to three, and on the break here, the the match gets a totally different uh, complexion to it. Good shot from Dave, but not much of a yield. He might be coming, coming safe behind the 4-9. Just pinch a little draw past the 5 and come up behind the 4-9. That, that would be one guess. I don't know how much this ball he's looking at, but... It's, it's nice to see some young players out here, some some junior players. We have a couple junior players in this field, and it's nice for my old eyes to see this. Dave might have to stand up on his toes and he might have a hit at the ball. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, the whole puzzle in this rack anyway is that four ball, which is which is bellied up on the nine there down in the rack area, and it's having a having a spin kick on this is going to have a danger. It's going to have to hit it pretty hard because if he's coming behind the ball, the three has a long long carry to get to a rail and make it a, a legitimate safety. And it might hit the 4-9. I don't think he got a cushion. That was the danger, no cushion. But this is uh, Dave has to get out from here and, and start to establish some game. We're still going to have to dodge Scott's brakes, which have been pretty good. Nice hit. Let's go with Roper and Comfort on 12. Roper and Comfort on 12. Race to seven. That's a good solid shot. Maybe he's a little pissed as Mark, I don't know. Yeah, he's getting farther away from the eight ball there. It's I like to play this ball a little high left, and that seems to be how it lays more naturally. That's a good shot there. That's about what all you could have expected from Dave there. That was a good, good shot. Dave knocks it in and trails uh, seven games to three in this contest. Good break shot from Scott. He can close this match out here. Look out. Looks like he was, the guy was, was binding it up. I won on take three. What score? Um, eight, three, four. Wow. Thanks. Good job. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is a real peculiar looking rack, but that 
Might be a throwable combination if you can <laughs> get around that far to what we're doing. That's a solid shot. Nothing wrong with this. He might have to come to the uh, to the short side and play the five eight or five or four five. Uh, he's got to play the four next anyway. This is. Probably just a thin ball and, and might have to come two rails, come back all the way up, all the way. Oh, that was a nice hit. In fact, I'd like to safety from here, come off the edge of the five and go into the eight, nine crotch and, and leave, leave him speechless. Wow, wow. Well, this is either a, a dead bang lockdown safety. Actually, the cross corner bank playing shape on the eight and safety. Oh, three way shot here. Lockdown, yeah. Good shot. Dr. Dave is cut off from that rail. He's going to have to come down and and, and and play something real creative here. And the side pocket's actually in his kick lane off the second rail. It's very tenuous. Uh, he's got to going to have to get a, an act of Congress for him to get out of the chair other than shake hands with uh, Scott in about three minutes or less, two minutes. That was a little, little less than what Scott would have liked. He'll just have a longer shot on the nine. Cut the eight backwards. Gonna be up table a ways. 
Oh, he got right on this thing. Look at this guy. What a, what a shot. Scott Hawes uh, takes down Dr. Dave by the score of eight games to three. The killer driller gets drilled that time. He just he, he lost his speed on that one shot and was in quicksand after that. We'll be back in a few minutes with our next live stream from uh, Champion Billiards in Frederick, Maryland. George Hammerbach will be back in the booth momentarily. Thanks again for all of you watching, and uh, and if any of you feel like uh, you're getting entertained, want to put a couple shekels on the donate block uh, on our website, actionpulltour.com, please do. We Our stream has expenses. But thanks again, nonetheless, and we'll be back. It was eight games to three in favor of uh, uh, Scott.